When natural disasters suddenly occur and human aid is needed, it is crucial that the logistics of the entire relief effort are coordinated by one centralised group. Agility, MERSC, TNT and UPS have joined forces to create the logistics emergency teams. We're going to see how many people you're going to save, how many people will die because you didn't manage to save them. Employees of the four corporations are spending three intensive days together at a training session. They want to know why you are there, what kind of services, what, are, what is the benefit for them to participate in such a meeting. And try to get from them what are their needs. I think this is a very special partnership. Uh, you know, we, we all you know, are in the logistics uh, and transportation industry, uh, but during a time of natural disaster we come together as one team. Uh, to help those in need and, and to provide uh, vital assistance to the humanitarian community. Yeah. The participants will learn that it takes a lot of skills, determination and joint efforts to prepare an effective response to a natural disaster. It's not easy to be able to help those people because if you don't do it the right way, you might end up even damaging I mean, what they already have. We all arrived overnight last night and uh, we are very sorry for what is happening here. I guess it's a shock for all of us. Well, can we just then, you know, get a move on here? Okay. Like, yeah, no so time to be we wasted, here, really. Victor, all of those people have a responsibility. Sir, I do need shelter items. Or I do need well, I warehousing, actually. Can definitely, definitely help with that. We listen to someone, we don't interrupt, we raise our, we raise our, hand, if, we raise our hand if we want to talk, and we don't interrupt the person. In a, in a situation of natural disaster or chaos, there's always going to be confusion and uncertainty, and it, it takes a really strong team to be able to pull um, a lot of parties together and a lot of different agendas and make it into one one worthwhile agenda which is to help you know save lives. Just to let you know what are the priorities. We know that there are many damages in the mountains and we don't know exactly what is the extent of damages so we do need to uh, find them out. I'm just amazed at the amount of passion that, that I, I'm sitting in a room with a lot of dedicated professionals and it's very evident when when you're sitting in a room with them and they're very eager to share, very eager to learn with other people. Um, there is a sense of I guess, community, even though we're competitive. Every now and then you see on TV that something is going on somewhere. There are some disasters, some earthquakes, something. And all the time I've been thinking that I want to be there and help. When I have seen about this initiative, I, I just jumped on it. It's really about using your own expertise in your daily job to make a difference for some international organizations that need your help. It was not clear to me before I arrived, what exactly the logistics emergency team would be doing. Uh, you only know on a very basic level what our role would be and to see that actually our skills are needed because there are holes in the in this supply chain and it's, it seems that it's critically important for us to take a, a leading role in that and help out where we can. We need to do it with smaller vehicles, not large trucks. We don't know if we're going to run into a road that can't handle your trucks. Why it was so difficult, according to you? Our agenda was light and we didn't stick to it. Coordinator, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Helping people, I mean, you can help them with many things, right? You need to know the priorities. That's something I, I really learned. You need to, to set the priorities and to know where you, you, you have to start. You're happy to make the gap higher towards food than shelter? Yeah. Okay, then you end up saving or you end up feeding 920,000 people on the food. When companies such as Agility, UPS, Maersk, TNT come together and they're in that disaster zone, or should I say it's a humanitarian zone, um, I think we can really add value from the expertise that we've had back in the private sector. Working with NGOs, with uh, UN agencies, so on and so forth, we can advise them and we can support them. I think it's important for APMOLA to be involved in this kind of program. There are some quite large disasters in the world. We have the ability to be part of that and improve people's lives. That's something that I think APMOLA should take very seriously and clearly does to be part of this effort.